Hello, Taurus. This one is for you. The dark side and the darkest sides of the cow. <laughs> yes, I know you're the bull. But it's more fun to pretend to be a cow. Okay. We know that Taurus love luxury, fine dining. They like um, just the finer things in life. This is because Taurus is ruled by Venus, which loves beauty, love, and Venus rules money. And so Taurus has this love of material things, including money. So we know all these things about Taurus. We know they're stable, they're pretty patient, you know, but today we're gonna talk about the bad things. So, Taurus, firstly, they have an insane temper, okay? To the point where if you're around them and they blow up on you, you will be scared. Extremely intimidating, angry outbursts. Just something about that anger that is really scary to be around, okay? Something everyone should be aware of. They hate change. Any sort of change or complication, they're not gonna like that. Taurus like to feel like they're in control, like they know what's gonna happen next, and they do not like adapting to change. It's probably one of the things they hate the most. They are extremely stubborn. They are, you may term them as bullheaded, right? The bull, okay? That's how you got your name. Super stubborn. They will argue with you about anything. They will argue to the death until they get their way or until you tell them, okay, you're right, I see your point. They are slow moving, like the bull or the cow. They are slow moving in the sense that they may be slow to take action and they may be slow moving in relationships. So they're closed off emotionally. They're gonna to keep to themselves and so they do not trust others easily. It may take a long time for you to gain their trust. Okay, also something about Taurus, specifically in relationships, they can get very possessive of people. And this also kind of comes from them being so slow to trust people, they don't have many friends. They have like a few close, really close friends. And if they're in a relationship, then it's taken them a long time to get to that point. So they don't want that change coming in. They don't want anyone messing up their comfortability, their little happy place that they've created. So yeah, they're super possessive of people and of things, of money, of their material things. And it's just because Taurus is an earth sign, they're super grounded and they just really care about material things. How it sounds, how it looks, how it tastes, how it feels, right? What it what it looks like is very important. Their image is very important. These are all terrible things. <laughs> I don't just mean their self-image. It's to the point where they may be obsessed with their looks. They may be searching in the mirror whenever they get a chance for little imperfections or little things they wanna fix. And they do this too with their partners or their closest friends. They won't hesitate to give you advice on what you should do to fix your body, fix your face. They care a lot about their image and how they look. And they care a lot about how their partners look as well. So that can be a negative thing coming from a Taurus. When no one asked your opinion, Taurus, opinionated self, keep it to yourself. Okay? It's rude. You're rude sometimes. <sighs> Selfish. Selfish. I feel like I say this for every sign. 
<laughs> the dark traits. It's like, yeah, you're all selfish. Okay. They tend to focus on their own needs. So in relationships, they might come home and expect dinner on the table at 6 o'clock. This is also because they hate change. They want a specific schedule and a routine and they want to stick to it. And if someone comes in and throws a new idea or switches it up, they're not going to be happy. They expect a lot out of their partners. And this is also because they're kind of lazy. So the selfishness comes in because it's kind of like, okay, Taurus wants to be dominant. Kind of like Aries, except Taurus is more grounded than Aries, less passionate, less emotional. And they care so much about material things. It's like they almost look at their partners like a material thing, like a possession. So once they have you and they feel that they've got you, they get super comfortable and can take their partners for granted because of this. Bringing up more selfishness. And um, they're just so materially focused on making more money and becoming more wealthy to increase their own comfort levels that, yeah, they're just naturally selfish. They are jealous. Along with the possessiveness, they are jealous. And they are protective as well. That can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing. If they're seeing you as a possession, and they're trying to protect what's theirs, they may not be protecting you. It's more so of protecting what they have, which is you, in their eyes. Okay, they are hypersexual, sensual, because of those material things, the five senses, right? They care a lot about how it feels. So sex is a big thing for Taurus. However, they don't like change. So let's say you want to maybe switch it up, try something new in the bedroom. They're going to be like, I'm good. You can do that over there. I'm going to stick to the same old thing right here because <laughs> this is good and this is what I like and this is what we've been doing. And I like to stick to routine because I'm afraid of the unknown. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. I'm, I will not do it. Okay? Let's just be aware of that. In the bedroom. They are obsessed with increasing their comfort level. Which means obsessed with making more money. Even though they may not want to work harder, they may have little ideas or side projects or side jobs going on how they can just have a more comfortable life. Taurus, though, like reliable income. So they're not one to like go way out of their way to try some crazy career. They want to know it's going to be steady and stable. They want steady money forever. Taurus, in order to help them more, so just a side note, Taurus need to develop more spiritually because they're so materially focused and so grounded that in order to become their best self, they need to focus on the more spiritual realms and developing in that aspect because they're so grounded sometimes all they can see is the material world around them. Okay, the best way to do this is for them to embrace their creative nature. A lot of Taurus love music. A lot of Taurus are good in the arts, painting, things like that. So the best way for them to grow spiritually is just to embrace that creative nature and let that spirit, energy, creativity flow through them. Okay, Taurus is lazy. You're lazy, Taurus. Everyone thinks you're hardworking. Not true. You're hardworking up until the money's made. Then you go home and you're super lazy. Yeah and gluttonous too. You care so much about food. Meat and cheese and alcohol and whatever else that is like chocolate cake. I don't know. Fine dining, right? Get the most expensive wine bottle. We need that. We're gonna need that. Thank you. 
Okay, so although you are known for being maybe sporty or athletic or just physically active, right? You have this stocky build a lot of times and you love food. So if you're lazy, you may have realized that although you are physically active, you can't keep up with how you eat. And it may be hard to have the ideal body that you want. This is notorious for Taurus and, and what they deal with with their body image because they love food. Hey, no one's hating on you, Taurus. Okay, people like to go out with Taurus to eat because they feel zero shame and zero guilt. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So because of all this, it is easy for Taurus to put on weight. That's just a side note of a negative trait from the gluttony. Okay. <laughs> they are perfectionists when it comes to their image, right? I already talked about this in the mirror and that sort of thing and how they're like that with their partners too. Because they're so emotionally closed off in the beginning. I don't know how long it takes. Um, I wouldn't want to wait around for that. So... If you're getting into a, a relationship with a Taurus and you're taking them out or something, they're not going to be super talkative. They're not going to be the life of the party. They're not going to share everything with whoever's around. They're going to be staying to themselves, just talking right here with you. Later in the relationship, they're more comfortable with you and they open up and they actually can form like an emotional bond. But in the beginning, and I don't know how long it takes, it might be a while, they do not trust you. And they're going to keep the emotions in here. Lockbox. Okay? Taurus can be irritable. They are closed off emotionally. They don't really like to be around people. They have just a few close friends. They keep their circle small. They don't want to hear about your life and all your problems. They just focus on their money. What's comfortable for them. What they're eating for dinner. And... If someone tries to change that routine or change their schedule, super irritable. Don't change their schedule. Don't take them around large groups of people that they don't know, especially. Super uncomfortable. Also, the emotional thing. Because they hold on to repressed emotions of anger and mistrust or whatever else they feel, they can have these spontaneous bursts of anger. I know we talked about the temper, but this is something different. This is like you didn't see it coming. Now they're just mad. And you didn't, you don't know where it came from. Okay, and, or they can go through bouts of depression. Because Taurus, like alcohol, this can be a no-no. Depression and alcohol don't mix, people. I shouldn't have to say this to you, Taurus. Okay? If they're forced to be around people they don't know, they might get super irritable. They're already feeling like, I don't know anyone here, I don't like these people, I only wanted to hang out with you, and now I'm highly upset with you. And in the car, I'm going to have a huge rager because you brought me here. They don't like to be told what to do either. So, if there's anyone in their world who is the authority figure, probably not going to go down. Taurus has to be dominant. They like to have the authority. They want to be their own boss. So Taurus, male or female, probably going to wear the pants in the relationship. Okay? Just saying. You don't want to get in an argument with Taurus because it's going to go on and on and on and on. It's never ending. It's like hitting a wall. There's nothing you can do. They will argue forever. Uh, I just want to point out that many of the world's dictators were Taurus. Hitler, Catherine the Great, Saddam Hussein, and probably more. So that's the kind of energy we're talking about here, okay? Self-indulgent. And this is another way that they can be seen as selfish. They like to have the finer things. And so they can be really compulsive about spending, buying things, uh, food, 
luxury items. Whatever it is that's gonna make them feel better, even temporarily, they're just gonna spend it and spend it. So Taurus love money, but they love to spend it too. So be careful with your money, or if you're married or dating a Taurus, you already know this. You gotta watch that money, because it's gonna go as soon as it came. Uh, because of this self-indulgence, they can be greedy. Come off greedy, at least. They care a lot about money, care a lot about things. They care a lot about the self and their own comforts and the material world. So you can see how they can come off kind of greedy, especially when that possessive nature steps in and they're fighting someone over what they believe is theirs, a person or whatever, okay? Scary. This is another thing. They have a huge amount of self-respect, whether it's founded or not. So if someone hurts their feelings or hurts their ego or their pride, they can easily switch into like vengeance mode where they will just say the worst, most harshest things about you and they could, they could say anything and everything and they will to hurt you when they're hurt. And I guess it's self-respect, but I'm going to go with too much pride. Inflexible. This is the schedule thing and the change thing. Not going to do it. Closed off emotionally. Self-centered. Argumentative. It's to the fullest extent of the word. Uncompromising. Okay. Materialistic. We know this. Brooding. Resentful. Spiteful. Very opinionated. When it's not asked for, just don't. Just stop it. Okay. Greedy. Lazy. Dominant. Stubborn. Jealous. Possessive rigid with their words. Now the laziness we didn't talk about much, but yeah, just very messy. And just can get into like this sedentary place because comfort is so important. So if they eat a big meal, they might just want to go right to sleep. They love to eat and they love to sleep. Anything that is comfortable, Taurus will love. A nice sweater, a nice soft blankie, that's Taurus. Okay, worst signs for Taurus in a relationship, Aquarius, Gemini, obviously these are two in, in the mental space for Taurus, which is super grounded and material. Okay, they talk too much anyways. Taurus is calm and slow moving and they don't want all that mental chatter all the time. That's why that's not going to work. And Leo, which is another fixed sign, just like Taurus, and they will bump, bump heads too hard. So that's why that can't work. They both are kind of stubborn and they're fixed, which means um, they're fixed on their way of life. They're fixed on their way of thinking. Can't really be swayed. And so they may argue. And the best in relationship for Taurus would be Scorpio, which is crazy, I know. They're like the opposites. Um, but Taurus grounds Scorpio and Scorpio so deeply emotional helps Taurus kind of feel more, which they love to feel, but this is more emotional, pulls them into a more emotional space, which they need. Cancer, another water sign, uh, which is a cardinal sign. It's kind of more grounded out of the water signs, so Cancer is really good for Taurus. They kind of complement each other well. And uh, Capricorn, another earth sign, another materially focused sign who is very grounded. They will see things eye to eye, complement each other well, and have a good understanding. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please like and subscribe. Next we'll be doing Gemini. And I'm having so much fun with this series. Taurus, thank you. <laughs> I just love it. Just try it at home. Just try it. Just do it one time. It's really fun. See you on the next one.